Good morning everyone, this is another session on astrology and we will be discussing about the planets and how uh, how it is considered in Vedic astrology. Now in Vedic astrology we consider uh, the the earth to be the center reference point and we are, uh, we are saying that the earth is a fixed point and whereas all the other planets are going around it even sun is sun and moon though sun is not a planet and moon is also a satellite uh, so uh, though sun and moon are not considered uh, as uh, planets but they are also taken as planet in uh, in the vedic astrology and uh, earth is considered as the center most reference point now going ahead mercury is the smallest planet and then we have the jupiter to be the largest planet actually uh, the planets which are larger and closer to earth are said to have uh, or exert more influence so uh, going on that it is also considered that you know the uh, the jupiter and saturn affects most of the people because Jupiter and Saturn both are very large in size and they are quite close to Earth also comparatively and hence it is said that you know uh, most of the people or uh, everyone uh, are influenced by Jupiter and Saturn whereas the effect of other planets is slightly lesser compared to Jupiter and Saturn. Now going ahead it is also uh, now what is I also wanted to explain about Rahu and Ketu and um, uh, another important point here is that Uranus, Neptune and Pluto are not considered as planets in Vedic astrology because they, they were discovered much later so they were not considered. They also influence actually they are also considered in astrology in modern day astrology they also are considered but uh, in Vedic astrology we do not consider uh, the influence of these planets they are very small in size and they are very, fur uh, very far from earth now going ahead what is Rahu and Ketu Rahu and Ketu are not planets but they are the shadow how it is determined now this is the earth imagine this to be the earth and this to be the moon now uh, the north when the moon approaches the northern part of the earth then that point okay right above the northern part is referred to as the Rahu whereas the southern part is referred to as the Ketu Rahu and Ketu are just points on the earth and uh, uh, they are 180 degrees apart as you can clearly see Rahu is referred to as the dragon's head at times and Ketu is referred to as dragon's tail Rahu is said to be uh, you know very evilish and cruel uh, point whereas Ketu is considered uh, for its or it is known for its courage so hopefully you understood so these are the things which we have to consider the planets the Rahu Ketu hopefully you understood what are Rahu and Ketu they are just the shadow they are also referred to as the shadowy planets and they are just the points on earth where the moon crosses the northern point the northern point and the southern point of the earth and uh, we also un uh, understood that Saturn and Jupiter influence uh, most of us whereas Uranus, Neptune and Pluto and other uh, planets are not considered in Vedic astrology. Hopefully I understood few more points on planets in this video. I am Shwetank into astrology. Do check my channel for more. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.